Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to Tommy's Carolina Homestead. How y'all doing today? So I drove, you guys, I drove to Mooresville, North Carolina. I'm sitting outside of the Costco and I'm about to go in but that's a separate video from this one. This one I'm going to focus on, as you can see from the title, um, things that you should be stocking up on now. Not saying you have to, but things you might wanna consider adding to your stockpile or creating a stockpile if you have not done that, okay? It's many different ways to stock up on food. Everybody has their opinion on what should be the top this and top that. So. Here's just some of mine and my list changes every now and then. So you'll probably see some, you know, different lists from me because my list change as my needs change. Okay. So again, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for coming in. I want you all to know, I see you. I appreciate you. It means a lot, you know, the motivation that you give me to keep going and hopefully I return that to you to keep going in what you are doing as well. So this morning, let's go. It is now 64 degrees at 11.47 a.m., which means when I walked outside this morning to do my chores with my chickens and my rabbits, I just thought I was walking out to semi-warm weather. You guys, I jumped back in the house like, what? Wait a minute, I need my jacket. So I went in and I got my hoodie. It was 50 degrees. And happy second day of fall. I missed saying happy first day of fall yesterday, but happy second day of fall, you guys. And here where I'm at, it says, hello, I am here. So I don't know how long it's gonna last, if, if it's gonna last way into, you know, the season or it's just gonna be a flip flop because you know how the weather can be. So let's get straight to this so it's not an extremely long video. And I hope that I can make this out. So first on my list is rice. And this is not, not in any particular order. I always tell y'all that it's not in any particular order. I'm looking for my glasses as usual. I should have been prepared. So rice is on my list. And when storing your rice, I would prefer, well, I'm gonna tell you what I do. I get white rice because they say brown rice will go rancid faster and white rice lasts longer. Now, what kind of rice, whatever you eat now, that's what you should be storing, okay? Um, I have different kinds. I even just bought some parboiled rice, but I bought the parboiled rice because I'm gonna can my rice. I want, my, I want some rice on my shelf that's already ready for my other things that I'm canning as well. Sugar is also on my list. And when I say sugar, I mean your regular white sugar, but also think about getting your cane sugars. Now, when I'm canning, I use cane sugar and um, I find it just tastes better. It just tastes better. And of course, y'all know I'm not buying brown sugar anymore because I can make my own using the white sugar. And if you haven't seen that video that I did showing you how easy and simple it is to make your own brown sugar, please check that video out. Number three on my list is flour. So when it comes to flour and storing flour, you need to be careful with that because you do not want to open that up and it's just nothing but a bunch of weevils in it, okay? And when I say weevils, I mean bugs, if you don't know. Um, flour can, because of how it's processed, bugs do get in. So it's best when you buy your flour, throw it in the freezer, you know, some people say 24 hours, some people say two days. I Listen, I done threw some in the freezer and forgot all about it. Come back weeks later and get it out. It's just fine, okay? I actually have some in there now. Um, you can also get your wheat berries. I did buy a big bag of wheat berries. You don't necessarily have to have the grinder for that. And I'll try to do a quick shorts to show you how you can grind your wheat berries without using a grinder. And I hope that it works because I saw someone else do it and I wanna try it and see if it works so I can show you guys as well. Um, salt is number four on my list. When it comes to salt, I saw some Redmond salt in the tractor supply. 
and that is a real salt you guys it has a lot of minerals in it that regular salt doesn't have and when i say get salt i don't mean table salt like you could do kosher salt you do himalayan salt just you know not that oh, iodized salt so number five i have oats oats can be used for many many things and plus it's nutritious and it's filling okay you can eat oats in the morning afternoon or night it, it doesn't matter you can have oats anytime and you can use oats in your baking process as well number six i have pasta pasta for one is still cheap it's, it hasn't really gone up a lot maybe a few pennies but not a lot where you can't afford it so get your pastas and as a matter of fact well we'll save that for later yeast you want to have yeast if you got your flour you're going to be baking bread or whatever you're doing you're going to need your yeast potatoes potatoes are filling um, you can store them many kinds of ways. You can freeze your potatoes. You can actually can your t your potatoes. Let me get it right. Your potatoes. You can can those as well. And some people do store theirs like in a dark, cool place. Um, and also, not just regular potatoes, but sweet potatoes as well. I have some sitting waiting for me to can actually but i need to get another bag because i don't want to just can that one bag i think it only has six potatoes in it i want a bunch that i can can up and try to actually do a recipe with it canning up as if i was doing um sweet potato pie that way all i can do is just dump and go so next on my list is honey Hunt. i had to see if my camera was still going honey is as a sweetener is good to have and honey as a medicinal use is also good to have like if you're sick honey is a great great medicine okay um pure syrup not the regular syrup that you're pouring over your pancakes but that pure like grade a b syrup also having broth to store is great because you can make your own soups you can add it to um simple meals the taste is there as well. And if you don't want to do broth, you can do the bouillon like cubes and you can get those and you can, you know, store those long term and just pull them out when you need them. And it has a lot of salt in them too, so be careful. Tomatoes in a can, okay? When I say tomatoes in a can, like if you don't make your own pasta sauce, which I have not done that yet. My, my production of tomatoes was not good and I didn't want to buy tomatoes and then can them because there is a difference i've tasted homegrown tomatoes and now i don't want to can store-bought tomatoes i don't want something that had all those chemicals on it but so if you want to buy the canned goods however you can get your diced tomatoes because you can use those in your chilies and soups you can get your crushed tomatoes your tomato paste etc etc next on the list is eggs okay we all know what's going on with the eggs. They were going up in price. Lately, I've seen them come down. Like the 60 case, I think at Walmart now, is about $10 when they were close to almost $20. So getting those eggs and getting them stored away, whether you're freezing your eggs, and I mean taking them out of the shells and freezing them, or you're dehydrating your um, eggs, it's good to have that egg fruits and vegetables whether they are frozen dehydrated or whatnot make sure you have those or in canned goods 15 is beans 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 and more beans dry beans are good because you can can those up all you need is like a cup of dry bean and it'll fill up that pint size jar just a cup so it goes a long way because beans expand so you can get your dry beans you can can them yourself or you can buy them already in the can and save yourself the trouble. Number 16, I have canned meats and covering chicken, tuna, turkey, salmon, those canned meats. And then you can also get Spam or Vienna sausages, whatever you choose to do and wherever you're financially able to afford it, get those because the prices are going up, especially like with the salmon. I also have pet food on my list. If you have pets, 
I don't have a pet, but we are still looking for um, a pet. So once we do, then I'll start storing. But if I decide I don't want to store or it costs too much because their food is just as high as our food, you can always make your own pet food using vegetables. If you're growing anim growing animals, if you're raising your own animals, you can also use the meat from them to feed your pets. So spices, you got all this other stuff. You want to have some spice in your life. You want to not eat bland food all the time or if you get tired of a certain thing, adding those spices are great to have, particularly the spices that you use or that your family enjoys. Um, peanut butter, jelly, things that you can make a sandwich with, lunch meat, whatever. Get those items. I would say bread because you can, you can freeze bread but and i do freeze bread but i want to also make my own bread but we're getting to that so condiments is also on my list when i say condiments you need to think if you're eating hot dogs what do you put on your hot dog mustard buy some extra mustard tomato um ketchup buy some extra ketchup if you don't make your own onions you can freeze onions see how i'm going with that so get your condiments to go with whatever it is you're eating. If you're eating fries, you, you won't catch up on them. I like to mix mine with mayo too, so add mayo. Um, your oils, I am stocking up on my vegetable oils. Um, I'm also stocking, about to stock up on my olive oil because I was stocked up, but then I stopped stocking it and not realizing my kids are cooking now too. So we're using more um, olive oil and I'm trying to get the cold press ones, but you know, they are a little bit higher, but they store better. Number 24 is, well, we're gonna flip it. Number 24, I'm gonna put water on here. You definitely need some water to wash all this stuff down, to cook with, to bathe with, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, make sure you have enough water for everyone in the home to drink as well as do your daily chores along with washing. Uh, 25 is skills. I know you're like skills. What do you mean skills? 25 is skills. Get you some books on whatever it is you want to do. Whether it's canning, making bread, making pasta, whatever. Get your books because you're not promised to have YouTube and other social media and these videos to show you how to do it. And also while you have those devices available to you now, when you see a recipe that you like, write it down in a tablet or in a, in, in a special book that you're making on your own with recipes write it down that is going to be very important because who knows you know if we lose our energy our electricity or, or whatever you need to have a backup way to do that skills in as far as to make how you want to make bread the items that you're going to need to make. so when you're stocking up think about a meal think about the meals you want to cook what do you need for that meal you and how often do y'all eat that meal stock up on those ingredients and that's like the best and easy way i can tell you to get your prepper pantry going um take as much time as you need to get it done or as little time it depends on how you see the world and where the world is now so i can't say oh you're running out of time you need to do this but you need to do this because nothing is getting better. Inflation is taking over. Um, shortages are still there. They are expected to be even worse in 2023. So, and a lot of companies, I think sometimes you see these empty shelves because a lot of companies are removing items from their shelves. And in doing so, it's putting demand on other products on the shelf. And that's all in the effort because now those other items are priced up. So it's all a money game. They're gonna get their money in the end. So make a plan, pray about it and put it into action, you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this was helpful to you. 
Um, and again, this is not written in stone. This is not written in stone. It's really not. You're going to do things on the fly by based off what you need. So things are going to change from your list. What you're eating today, you may not be eating tomorrow. And we all going to need to learn how to ration and portion our food, okay? Because we don't know what the times are going to bring. We can guesstimate, but we don't know, okay? So y'all take care. Have a blessed day. I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only when you be the best you that you can be when you are go out and spread god's love peace love and light thank you so much for being here on tommy's carolina homestead and remember to prep the day so you can be prepared for tomorrow and i just want to say i love you guys so so much i appreciate you each and every time you show up for this channel because you could have been anywhere else and you chose to spend some time with your girl tommy over here make sure well not make sure please consider subscribing to the channel also consider hitting the like button and sharing it out with family and friends so they'll be up on what they need to know as well y'all take care have a blessed day life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights